This is the Xiaomi Redmi A2, a well-rounded budget smartphone that offers solid performance and value for its price point. Equipped with a 6.52-inch IPS LCD display, an octa-core processor, and a huge 5,000 mAh battery, the device delivers on all essential fronts. While the phone might not be packed with the latest high-end features, it is undoubtedly a reliable choice for those seeking quality and affordability. First, let's start with the design. The phone incorporates a flat frame design that aligns well with modern minimalist trends. This design approach provides a refined, streamlined look to the device. Available in shades of black, green, and blue, the A2 offers options that are versatile and suit a wide range of personal preferences. A remarkable aspect of the phone's physical appearance is its textured back panel. Not only does it add a sophisticated flair to the phone's design, but it also provides a practical benefit. The textured surface effectively resists fingerprint smudges, which often mar the aesthetics of many smartphones. This feature helps to keep the device looking clean and new for a longer period of time. Moreover, the textured back panel contributes to the phone's ergonomics, making it comfortable to hold for extended periods of time. Despite its relatively budget-friendly pricing, the A2 does not compromise on build quality. The choice of materials and the quality of construction imply a sense of durability. This combination of an appealing design and robust construction makes the phone stand out in its price segment. One particular feature that contributes to the phone's unique appearance is its dual camera system. This system is neatly integrated into the phone's design, adding to its professional and high-tech appeal. Now let's talk about the display. The A2 features a 6.52-inch IPS LCD display. The resolution, 720 by 1,600 pixels, ensures the content is displayed with a good level of detail, making it a pleasant device for tasks such as viewing photos, watching videos, and playing games. The aspect ratio is 20 to 9, which fits well with the current trends of having more screen space for multimedia consumption and browsing. The pixel density of the screen stands at around 269 pixels per inch. The display is fairly sharp and provides enough clarity for most users, without any visible pixelation in normal usage scenarios, and images and text appear crisp and clean. Brightness is decent, featuring 400 nits of peak brightness, offering ample light indoors with punchy blacks that add depth and contrast to the visual experience. However, it should be noted that the device's sunlight legibility might not be its strong suit. Some degree of squinting may be necessary when using the phone in bright outdoor conditions, which could be a drawback for users who spend a lot of time outside or under strong lighting. The color accuracy of the screen is generally good, delivering vivid and vibrant hues. The IPS technology helps ensure that colors remain consistent and accurate from different viewing angles. Contrast is also commendable. Despite being an LCD panel, a technology usually associated with less contrast compared to AMOLED panels, it is capable of producing punchy blacks. Now let's talk about the camera. The Xiaomi Redmi A2 is equipped with an 8-megapixel camera sensor with an f2.0 aperture and a 5-megapixel selfie camera with an f2.2 aperture, a solid setup for a phone in its category. In terms of photo quality, the A2 produces images that are satisfactory for its segment. The color rendition in the images taken by this camera tends to be true to life, and the photos do not appear overly saturated or unnaturally enhanced. The sharpness of the images is fairly decent. You can expect to see a good amount of detail in your photos, especially in well-lit conditions. However, keep in mind that some softening might occur in complex scenes or in the corners of the frame, which is a common occurrence in many budget smartphone cameras. The camera also manages to capture a commendable amount of detail in low-light conditions. However, as is typical with many mid-range and budget smartphones, the performance of the camera in low light doesn't quite match that of more premium devices. The images might display some noise and loss of detail in darker areas. When it comes to video recording, the A2 performs reasonably well. It can capture 1080p videos at 30 frames per second that are detailed and free of noise, with colors that are accurate and appealing. 
However, the 1080p footage might be a bit too soft for some users' preferences. The audio quality during video recording could be improved as well, as it doesn't quite match the quality of the video itself. Now let's talk about the battery. The smartphone is fueled by a non-removable 5,000 mAh battery coupled with a 10-watt wired charger. In terms of usage time, it can vary greatly depending on the type of activities you do on your phone. However, when tested under standard conditions, the battery life of the A2 was found to be average compared to other phones in the same range. One of the downsides of the A2 is that it does not have any advanced power management features like fast charging or wireless charging. This is a common feature in more premium phones, and its absence could make charging the phone less convenient compared to other models that do offer these features. Now, let's talk about the hardware and performance. When it comes to processing power, the phone is powered by an octa-core MediaTek Helio G36. This system-on-a-chip comprises four Cortex-A53 cores clocked at 2.2 GHz and four Cortex-A53 cores clocked at 1.7 GHz, offering a balanced combination of power and efficiency. The cores are paired with the PowerVR GE8320 GPU, which ensures good graphics performance for most mainstream games and apps. As for memory, the A2 is available in configurations with 32 gigabytes of storage, coupled with either 2 gigabytes or 3 gigabytes of RAM, or 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. The amount of RAM might seem a little low by today's standards, but it should be sufficient for most users' daily needs and can handle multitasking quite well. In terms of storage, the availability of 32 gigabytes and 64 gigabytes variants provides decent room for storing photos, videos, and apps. The phone's performance is impressive for its price point. It handles UI smoothly, and scrolling is perceptibly smooth even when navigating through intensive apps like Google Maps or the Play Store listing page. While occasional frame drops can be observed, the overall performance is quite satisfactory. In terms of multitasking, the A2 does a commendable job. There are no significant issues observed with the phone's RAM management, and it manages to keep a decent number of apps in memory. This means that users can switch between apps without the phone having to reload them constantly. However, the performance of any smartphone cannot be assessed without considering the user's unique needs. For instance, if a user primarily uses their phone for heavy gaming or professional content creation, they might find the A2 a little lacking compared to higher-end devices. Nevertheless, for everyday use like browsing the web, streaming videos, using social media, and light gaming, the A2 should prove more than capable. Now, let's talk about the software and user interface. The A2 runs on Android 12 and the MIUI Custom Skin, which provides a unique user interface and added functionalities. MIUI is a feature-rich skin that gives users plenty of customization options. It features a distinct, vibrant, and colorful aesthetic compared to the more subdued look of stock Android. Some users enjoy the cartoonish and playful visuals, while others might prefer the more minimalist design of pure Android. A defining characteristic of MIUI is its lack of an app drawer, which means all installed apps appear directly on the home screens, similar to iOS. However, recent versions of MIUI have included the option for an app drawer for users who prefer that style. Lastly, Xiaomi has a reputation for frequently updating MIUI with new features and security patches, which ensures the device stays up to date and secure. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.